I'm Amanda Pashuko, a sex therapist, and today we're going to talk about how to find someone into BDSM. Stay until the end if you're interested in our BDSM checklist to help you kind of use these tools that you're going to hear about in the video and then bring them into your actual life. So if you're interested in finding someone that's into BDSM, the first thing I would suggest is asking friends that you already have in trust if they know anyone who's into the kink lifestyle already. You'd be surprised because maybe one out of 20 or so people that you know might already be kinky and kind of understand the community as it is. To be clear, each country, region has different ways in which they practice and like the community of the terms that they're using in that area to describe certain kinks or fetishes. So bringing me to my next point, FetLife.com, although some people aren't really that big of a fan of the website, it is international and it helps with some type of standard on what people are doing in which region of the country. Yes, it's not the best standard. It's online, I understand. However, I recommend this before you start meeting someone into BDSM, just to understand what others are doing around you. Also, another thing that you can do is go on Facebook and look up some of these things. People who follow you might see on their newsfeed that you're looking into these groups though if it isn't private. So FetLife, if you use a different email, a different username, and don't put describing things about you, that will keep more privacy and discretion. But Facebook does have interest groups and pages on these topics, so you can follow them to learn more. Have you ever heard of Fat Life? Next thing to do is go to a munch. A munch is something that is in a vanilla setting, meaning like lunch or dinner, and the point of a munch is to go and meet people that are in the community, and then you could vet one another and see if the vibes feel like a place that you wanna be. So on FetLife, you'll see different munches that you could go to. When you go to a munch, it's like a diner or something, and they will tell you on the FetLife group, oh, we'll have like an octopus stuffed animal on the table. That's just to signify that those are the people you're meeting so that when you're walking around and large groups of people are in the restaurant, you know which one is the group you're going to. You eat a meal together, get a drink, you pay your own way. And that is one really safe way to meet someone who's into BDSM. When you're at the munch, you can ask them about local dungeon events. Ask if people have to be vetted and ask if there's anyone there that you feel safe with that's interested in bringing you to one of those events. Also, be sure for my final point, be sure that you can bring someone that you trust with you. You do not have to go to these events alone. You can bring someone that you trust with you because sometimes it's a lot safer. And if you can't bring someone with you, I really think it's important to put find my or a locator on your phone because people in the lifestyle know that it's okay to be safe. And so if you have friends who are going out and practicing this lifestyle and they're by themselves, you can ask them to turn on their location for the end of the night so that you can have this feeling of more safety and certainty. Now that you've stayed with us till the end, I hope that you find more people into BDSM. Once you do find them, please download the checklist below so that you have something to discuss with them because they might know more about BDSM. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and the bell. I release new videos on Wednesdays. And you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at The Sex Healer or at Amanda Pashuko. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.